There was lots of music. Lots of consoling. Yeah, it's good that you're talking about it. <laughs> On this Veterans Day celebration in Okoe, where the youth said thank you in a big way to our servicemen and women. It's a day we honor every single soldier who risked their lives for us. They have defended America through the best and worst times. Pearl Harbor survivor, 99-year-old Donald Kopp of South Orlando, was honored at the Okoe Veterans Day event. During the Pearl Harbor attack, Mr. Kopp was 25 years of age and served as a first class machinist man. Donald Kopp was handed the Pearl Harbor honoring pin. I'd like to present you your 75th Pearl Harbor honoring pin. In St. Cloud, Team Depot did some improvements at the home of 65-year-old veteran Robert Hoff. They want to make his life a little better for this veteran who has congestive heart failure and depends on oxygen. Now it's on to Leesburg, where folks dedicated one of the military's workhorses here at Veterans Memorial Park. Those who know say this UH-1 Huey is one of the best, if not the best. Oh yeah, I've flown quite a bit on in combat assaults in uh, air transportation as a door gunner. We place this POW MIA symbol on the empty chair. Today's events all across Central Florida honor all American veterans who served their country during war or peacetime. I'm Gail Pascal Brown, West 2 News.